The point of this video is to show you what the BLM or the federal government does when they assess restitution or damages or whatever. They go in and create the damage. They go in, jack the prices up, uh, spend tons of money, and then they tack that on to the person that they've charged blaming them for that cost, which is totally absurd. Here is Recapture Canyon. The first pictures were 2006, this is 2009. Here's the road that the protest was held on. The road um, has a right-of-way, 40-year right-of-way on it. It has a 27-inch pipeline down it, underneath it. It has a 50-foot right-of-way from center, so it's 25-foot one way, 25 the other. When the pipeline was put in, it was dug up, cleared, and put in. All the sites along it were mitigated. There were, everything was taken care of. Right here is the end of the road. This is where the pipeline leaves the trail or leaves the canyon, heads out the west side up to Blandy. That's where everybody parked. Um, there's a few people that went on, but the majority of everybody, and you can see us in here, parked, talked, turned around, went out. That's the end. That's the road. That All this has been cleared. <laughs> was totally dug up and a whole bunch of heavy equipment sitting there when they put in the pipeline. Anyway, that's where the protest was held. There were no ruins, there was no archaeological stuff there, nothing whatsoever that hadn't already been taken care of. This video here is from um, Canyon. Friends of Cedar Mesa. They walked the actual trail, not the road, they walked the trail afterwards. Uh, and this is what you're seeing here. Uh, you know, some brushes knocked down, that kind of thing, but the, the trail itself uh, looks exactly like it did in 2006 and before it was closed. Um, there really, it's a real narrow canyon, a lot of boulders you can see through here. You really got to stay where the trail is, and it's just a two track that they drive through. So, this video I like, it just shows you what it is. Uh, the BLM at one point came in after all the assessment and everything and tore the trail up put a bunch of water bars they call them but a bunch of barriers in there and uh, blocked up the blocked up this actual part of the trail these are pictures that they took in September of that same year the protest you can see it's all back in there's a few tracks there but there were also tracks prior to the protest that we brought up in court showed pictures but it didn't matter the trail has been used uh, the, the Water Conservancy, they drive down that daily, uh, the, the road, part of everything. They're on there daily, checking the water lines and things. They use ATVs, pickups, whatever. There was a miner that had his mine in there till 2009. He had heavy equipment, was authorized to be there uh, and use that. Uh, there's also cattlemen that run their cattle in there, 200 head or so a year, uh, twice a year up and down that road and, the, and that actual trail. Anyway, the point is, is that the the trail was the road, the road portion that the protest was on was never closed. It never was closed, despite what Judge Shelby says that ro the, the road was never closed. The road has a right of way. It has a, a special uses on it, and in the closure itself, the emergency closure, it states that those things it does not affect those things. You talk to the original um, manager that was the one that closed it. They never closed the road. Anyway, so there was no damage. No damage at all. The BLM never tried to prove or show that anybody was on that trail beyond the road. Um, they didn't show anybody was there. They didn't argue it. They didn't nothing. They didn't try anything. But when the damages come, when they tried to do the assessment for damage, they went on the section of trail that they never showed anybody was on and um, they did their assessment. The restitution we got assessed for $96,000 was not for damages, that was the cost it cost them to find out there were none. And so one company come down from Montana, I found there's two bills from them, $155,000, 145000 or something like that. Uh, they're there about four days, five days. Anyway, what we've seen here is that then they went in and then they tore up the trail and made it impassable by bicycles, by, you know, anybody that, uh, any kind of motorized anything, of course, but um, these barriers that they put in that look, they say are water bars are probably, you know, some of them are a couple feet high. 
So the point is, is that when you're reading these things about the $6 million or whatever they're saying that happened in Oregon that the protesters did, that's total bunk. It's total crap. Um, and I'll guarantee it. They said the same thing here. We started out at 300 some thousand dollars in damages. We were driving on a freaking road that's maintained that has been dug up a 27 inch pipeline down the bottom underneath it 50 foot right away cleared to the dirt when the pipeline was put in there was nothing to damage uh, there's been heavy equipment on it people driving heavy trucks on it so this spring the county and the BLM are gonna totally redo that road grade it bring in some extra dirt really build it up and totally redo it I'm gonna go down there and film it because this is the area that we got charged for being on and also paying a $96,000 restitution on. So it's just all, it's all malarkey. They use that to smear the protesters to make, you know, the media jumps on it like, you know, whatever, so that they can badmouth them as well. And it's all just a bunch of crap. And uh, the $6 million, same thing. With us, the same thing. Start at 300000 we get down to ninety six, And it's not for damages, is it? It's just for all the cost, and they don't have to prove you even were there. They don't have to show any receipts. They don't have to even show they spent the money. They just have to go in there and tell the judge that's what they want, and in our case, that's what they got. So it's just it's what it is, you know. So take it with a grain of salt. This is just their standard operating procedure to continually punish the citizens that try to speak out against them and try to hold them accountable for breaking their own rules and their own laws.